What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Heyday True Wireless Earbuds in Green I picked up at Target for $49.99. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions to find out if these headphones are any good at $49.99. About six or seven months ago I reviewed a pair of $25 wireless earbuds from Walmart. They were the On Wireless Earbuds. They were $25. They received a pretty positive reception. That video did get I think over 18,000 views. And everyone, including myself, agreed that they were a good pair of earbuds at $25. They were even comparable to some $70 and $80 earbuds in terms of sound. Maybe not in features, but definitely in terms of sound. So today we're going to find out if these compare. They are $25 more, but they are Target branded wireless earbuds, just like the headphones at Walmart were Walmart branded wireless earbuds. This is pretty much the cheapest you can get in terms of wireless earbuds at Target and at Walmart the other earbuds were the cheapest you could get there. So without further ado, today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions and maybe just talk about both earbuds a little bit and see if these actually improve because they are $25 more. There are a few features here that I have noticed already that the on wireless earbuds for $25 at Walmart do not have. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions and I'll pretty much go over everything here as soon as we get everything out of the box. So as you can see, you get the Heyday wireless earbuds here. They are similar looking to the Apple AirPods and I believe you can get these in a few different colors. It is sort of a matte finished colorway. It's not a glossy finished colorway, but you can pretty much tell that from the front of the box, the graphic on the front is pretty clear. Now, this is a style that I think most of us will probably gravitate to, but they do sell a different style. It's more akin to the Sony earbuds and maybe even the Bose SoundSport earbuds. They go directly into your ear. These are more like AirPods where they have that long stem that hangs down from your earlobe. You get some other features with this set you get uh, IPX5 water resistant, which the on wireless earbuds did not have. You get about the same battery life, the same Bluetooth range, and pretty much the same features I'm assuming as well. So we'll go ahead and get into that. Okay, so now that everything is out of the box, we can pretty much see what comes with these earbuds. At the very far right, we do get a user guide, which is super important. I highly recommend you take a look at it. There are some important instructions it has to tell you on how to use them and how to identify when these earbuds are no longer charged or charging or have only half a charge. Talking about charging, you do get a USB to USB Type-C charging cable and we get LED indicator lights inside the charging case as well. As you can see, you get four LED indicator lights on the charging case. Here on my charging case, three of the four are illuminated, so that means we have 75% battery with the charging case. But what also is pretty interesting and actually makes these headphones unique is at the very bottom of the stem uh, is an LED indicator light. You can't see it now, but I'll show you later. That will tell you the uh, charge level of the earbuds themselves, which is actually pretty amazing. That's not a feature you get regularly on other pairs of earbuds. That's actually a first time for me. And last but not least, you do get some extra ear tips. You do get a large and a small and a medium sized ear tip. But I think you'll notice that the medium sized ear tips are already on the earbud. But if you do want to use the large or the small, you can definitely access them. Okay, so we have the earbuds in the charge case here. You can actually see the indicator light on the earbud itself. Both are indicating red, meaning they are charging. I believe when that indicator light turns off, that means they are fully charged. Hopefully they're charged now so we can listen to some music and I can give you a good first impressions, but you can see the red light is actually a pretty nice circumference. It lights up the bottom of the earbud well. It's not a 
a difficult light to read. So having this charge indicator light on the earbuds is actually a phenomenal idea. Now what's really nice about these earbuds is you can just pretty much take them out of their charging case and they will pair right away. So that's what we're going to do. Now what's interesting is in the user manual, and I think you will have noticed this, uh, the earbuds actually come separate from the charging case when you unbox them for the first time. So it does say that you have to put them in the charge case first and then take them out of the charge case so that they can go into pairing mode. And what's actually pretty interesting here is you can see that the LED indicator lights on the earbuds are flashing. That means they are ready to pair. And then once we pair them, this light should pretty much fade away and they should be connected. So let's get them connected here. As you can see, they are this sort of dark green colorway, which when the iPhone 11 Pro was out, would have looked awesome had you had the green version, but Apple no longer makes the green version. I would really like to see Target rid themselves of this green colorway and maybe go for a blue colorway. Same matte finish, but just maybe keep it updated with the current Apple iPhone Pro lineup, right? And mini lineup too. But as you can see, what I really like about this matte finish is compared to a glossy plastic finish, they are just a little bit easier to grip and pull out of your ears and put in your ears. They're just a little bit easier to handle because they just have a little bit more texture to them, a little bit more feel, a little bit more grab. Uh, one of the biggest concerns I have with the Apple AirPods is because they are a high gloss plastic finish. When you do wear them after some time, they sort of get oily and greasy and then they start slipping around. They become hard to take out of the case and then they become easier to drop and lose and break. But these are very comfortable and now that I have them in my ear, once again, you can pretty much see just how stylish and how fashionable they are. Let's go ahead and listen to some music. I'm gonna try a couple of different EQ settings. I'm gonna listen to a couple of different genres and then in a few minutes, I'm gonna come back with my first impressions and tell you how they sound. Okay guys, so I think the verdict is pretty much in here. These headphones sound pretty good. Uh, I did try them on a few different EQ settings. I tried them on a flat EQ, a bass booster, and a bass reducer. Now in the last video I made, I did a speaker review. That speaker sounded phenomenal on a bass reducer, but as is typical with wireless earbuds, you do have to mess around with the EQ setting and find something <clears throat> that works with you. So I did have these on bass reducer. I thought that was just a little bit too flat for me. It didn't sound very full or very rich at all. And then I tried out the bass booster and it sounded a little bit deeper and a little bit throatier, uh, but it did sound just a little bit muffled and behind a wall. So last but not least, I'd switch these over to a flat EQ setting, which ironically sounds amazing. It sounds just a little bit louder, a little bit fuller, a little bit richer. I listened to them on a few different EQ settings and they sound great. I was extremely impressed with these. I think they sound just as good, if not better than Apple's original AirPods or the second generation AirPods and other competing wireless earbuds on the market. The build quality is a little bit left to be desired here. They just don't look all that uh, well made up close and personal, but they are IPX5 sweat resistant. And I'm also going to go out on a limb and say that because they do have these rubbery ear tips on the front, when you do drop them, if you do drop them on the front of the earbud, which is likely, uh, they will hit the ear tip and bounce around a little bit, which can be a little bit of a nuisance and might actually cause problems. But I think for the most part, these should actually last a pretty long time. And last but not least, now that I've pretty much gone over some of my first impressions listening to music, I'd like to go over some of my first impressions talking on the phone with these. Now, first and foremost, what's really nice is you, if you have them connected via Bluetooth, as soon as you make a call, they should pretty much connect right away to the earbuds and you should be able to talk on the phone with them. So that's what I did. Uh, these have a great built-in microphone. When I did call this other person, uh, they heard me loud and clear, no issues whatsoever. Uh, what's also really nice is these do have touch controls on them so you can receive calls, you can hang up phone calls, and you can also use those touch controls to adjust your music if you want. 
But one take back with these headphones was the way the other person sounded on the phone to me. Uh, they sounded just a little bit scratchy, just a little bit muffled. I couldn't hear them all that well. It wasn't terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but seeing that I do contact this person frequently using other wireless earbuds, uh, just comparing them here quickly, I would say that they aren't as loud or as clear or as crisp as some other wireless earbuds on the market. Uh, the other person could hear me just fine, so that meant the microphone was working well, the wireless connection was working well, I had no problems, no lagging or latency or dropping out. The conversation was seamless. The only issue I had was the other person just didn't sound all that loud or all that clear. Now, that could have been a, an issue with the other person's phone, but uh, like I said, seeing that I contact that person on a daily basis and talk to them on a daily basis using other earbuds, uh, I would say that these are just a little bit inferior for hearing what the other person is saying. Otherwise, these are fantastic headphones. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this unboxing and first impressions. I highly recommend this set of Heyday True Wireless earbuds I picked up at Target for $49.99. Because I picked them up at Target, that does make them a big box good. Today, we did an unboxing and a first impressions. We saw what came in the box. We also did a sound impressions. I gave you some of my feedback as to how good these earbuds sound listening to music, which was a pretty positive feedback. I think these sound absolutely phenomenal. Another thing I want to talk about here is the battery life. You do get eight hours of playtime with the earbuds themselves. And then the charge case, which is actually a pretty significant size, does offer up to three additional full charges for the earbuds. So you don't get active noise cancellation, but Target does sell pretty much these earbuds with active noise cancellation. They are $40 more. Maybe we'll check those out next because these sounded so good. I just am going to have to see what those sound like. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. I really do think these are a fantastic pair of earbuds. Trying them on a few different EQ settings, I can attest to the fact that these have a phenomenal sound stage. I did try these on three different EQ settings. You will enjoy them on either a flat, a bass booster, or a bass reducer, or if you're listening to jazz or something other, like classical or country, you could definitely find a suitable EQ setting just depending on your music taste. I think these can adjust. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impression. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, my name is John. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and also share this video with friends and family and get the word out about this channel. We do review items from big box retail and online retail, stuff that you can find in store or have ordered to your house within a few days. That is the whole point of this channel and why I am running it to review pretty much everyday products you come in contact with. My name is John. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.